All right, hi guys, welcome to this week's video. I'm not gonna lie, straight away, I have already just filmed this video and I was not happy with how it came out, so I am refilming it because that is what you do. And yes, I'm really, really cold, so I'm putting this mug on me. This is my first video back from 2016, like the first video I've filmed since 2016. Um, and I feel like I have not filmed in like a century. I thought I sort of forgotten how to film. I'm getting all tongue tied, tongue twisted, and tied. My favourites aren't really that amazing this year, this week even. This year, this week, kinda. I guess it is already only just this year. Cause January is as far as this year goes. I don't know. Like I just didn't really have many favourites this month. I just. I don't know, I sort of just, I've been using, I haven't really bought anything new, I've just been using all my same makeup collection, which is usually what my favourites always consist of, is just makeup, and this whole month nothing's really stood out to me and being like something I grab for every day, it's just one of those months I guess, I mean you have to have these months truly, where you don't have as many favourites as you have previously. The first thing I have got is this eyeliner by Lacquer and Co. It is literally a little thing like this. So this is a little, I don't know, it's like a highlight for your eyes. You can put it in your inner corner, which is what I like doing. You can also put it underneath your brow bow, which is what I like doing. Um, but I think you can actually get away with using this as a normal highlighter as well. Like it's, there's no, there's no rules. You can break them. I got this in like my birch box in like December I think, it's December, November, December, late last year and I fell in love with it, you know, I instantly put it into my everyday collection of stuff to use and it's just nice, it it gives me that effect that I want, um, that a highlighter, like a normal highlighter doesn't and because it's like it got a creamy consistency, it stays as well. It doesn't like rub off later in the day. It's just really nice and I feel like it has a really nice effect to it. So. Going on to my skin, we have got Body Shop's Cromile Silky Cleansing Oil. I just love this. Um, I think I've shared this with you guys millions of times before. I always go back to it. It is the number one cleansing oil in my eyes. I always go back to it. I haven't yet to find a oil that does what this can't. I find that it's really easy to use, literally just you know, put a pump in your hand, rub it together onto your face um, and then wipe it off with a cloth and it literally cleans off all of your makeup like in one swipe. It's so easy, so quick, um, I just really really enjoy it and I feel like this will be my go-to for many more years to come. Okay. Going on to hair, we have got the John Frieda Full Repair Repairing Oil Elixir Smooth Shines and Extremphins. I have shared this with you guys many times before as well. This is my go-to like hair oil at the moment. I have used it for years. I'm literally quite near the bottom now. A long goes, no, a little goes a long way. I always say a long goes a little way. A little goes a long way. I find that this gives me just a really nice little shiny feel to my hair, especially when my hair is kind of like over dyed because it's blonde and it sort of is easy to break. I find that this gives it like a little bit more strength, makes it look nicer, just gives it an overall effect that I enjoy having on my hair. So I've got two nail polishes for you today. We have got um, OPI's nail here in the colour Lady in Black. It is a black colour. I don't know if you guys noticed, especially in my advent calendar video, that I have been constantly changing my nails. There's never a day where I don't have any nails on at all. Nail polish, I mean. Um, I went through a thing in like December where I was like, okay, I'm gonna start painting my nails so I stop biting my nails. Um, it's the only way for me to stop biting my nails. Literally, yeah, I'm 25 and I still bite my nails. So I thought I would try this out and it, so far it's worked. The only way my nails are still short now is because they've broken because they've been snagged on something but I'm really pleased with like my thumb and that finger. These two fingers are quite long now and my thumbs are like the fastest growing 
nails which is really weird but it's kind of cool I just quite like looking at my nails because they're getting long and I've got nails actually and not like really like badly bitten nails where it like breaks the skin and yeah so anyway I have been loving my black nail polish it's like the bomb I I just I just I've always wanted a black nail polish and I find that this one works really really well I do find you have to put like two or three coats on it though for it to work however I just I just love it and then we have got from Mavala Switzerland a gel finish top coat so this is not literally a gel coat it's not a gel nail polish it is a normal nail polish with the gel effect so I don't have to have like the UV light thing I can just put this on wham bam thank you ma'am I find this really really good it makes my feet my nails feel really really soft and smooth and gives a little bit of a glossy finish that I would have had not had with a normal top coat so <laughs> I think I shared with you these in my what I got for Christmas video these are my ankle boots from River Island because they now do number twos I mean they do size two shoes in River Island which is brilliant which means I can now get like nice shoes instead of like having to get kids shoes so these are ankle boots with the faux zip on this side and the real zip is on the inside I love these shoes I've been wearing them every day at work I find them easy to wear, easy to drive in, easy to walk in. Um, I can run in them. I can just, I can do everything in them. And also because they have got like a really good bottom to them, they're really nice and like waterproof, and they don't like break because they're like a chunky heel. Good soles. They're just really, really good. Here comes the good stuff. Okay, so in December, I don't even know how I got across this. I think. I was it was either recommended in my YouTube videos or it was on Pinterest I don't know quite how I got onto it but I have fallen head over heels in love with bullet journaling right now I'm just using a notepad I had uh, because that is what I did I just I just decided I'd just go straight into it and I would not hassle around with waiting for books to arrive that I don't have so I just went straight into it and decided to build my own uh, bullet journal after my first week which was the last week of December so yeah literally bullet journaling basically I don't even know it's like a do-it-yourself journal I think so you can track everything you want you can build your own journal to how you like it's really flexible you can add stuff you'd want add stuff you don't want um, and it's not just like the weekly calendar it's like the monthly calendar and then you can have like a future log but you can also have collections in it as well so like for example for this video I made a collection for this video to make a like January favorites video thing right here right now the reason why I thought I'd go for it is a because I have a ton of notepads in my room when I was doing my clear out I did a clear out a couple of weeks ago in my own room I like tipped everything out of my room during the Christmas holidays and then put everything back in and I came across a lot of empty notepads and I thought okay I'm gonna use them for something what can I use them for and it just happened to be around the same time where I fell across bullet journaling I was like okay let's do that so I just used like a plain old like uh, uh, lined book I have ordered a launch term bullet journal the next one because yeah I'm 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 literally aiming to do this for 2017 I am not gonna give this up I feel like because I went straight into it in January though like my January spread is so like messy I decided I would start doing February already and I sort of where is it I sort of paid more attention to it so yeah here I have like a much nicer spread I feel like I prefer the horizontal vibe but yeah this is the last bit I've got in my book at the moment um I just I just really like the tracking of it I like that you can track whatever you want so you can keep up with stuff and you can like know how to do stuff like for me I my issue is that like I just sort of forget to do stuff so basic stuff like laundry watering plants 
um, change my bed sheets I just will always put them off so if I have them in a book that's telling me that now is the time you should be should be doing this stuff I'll remember and I will do it and it's just really good it's a fun way of doing stuff but yeah so that is what I'm using I'm just using this book old notepad which I actually got for my 21st I don't know how I can remember that but I do I had this I had this for my 21st and that was like what five four years ago so yeah I decided I would use it up and then after this one I'm going to go for like a proper dotted journal which is what everyone uses because I do find the lines in this are very mis um, misguiding is that the right word they're just very annoying um, I have you know figured a way around it I don't really pay attention to the lines very much in notepad though I just sort of pretend they aren't there it's that kind of weird I only really pay attention to lines when I'm making the designs but yeah I track stuff in this like I've got like a whole spread for TV shows somewhere where is it here yeah see I have this whole sheet of TV shows that I am tracking that I want to watch in 2017 so I don't know how long this will um, last me I know a lot of people end up using about three bullet journals per year um, I've only made this one go for six months so far and then well, I've made a future log that goes only six months in advance so I'm aiming to finish this probably halfway through the year um, but we shall see how that goes and I literally look at it every single day without fail I have like sleeping logs I just love it this is this week's spread should I show you this week's spread um, so I decided on Tuesday when I had nothing happening I would just do a whole little random little doodle and then oh I had no notes in this week either so I thought I would just do another little random thing there um, so yeah that is my bullet journal two packs of Stadler pens uh, some of these are duplicates in this packet but some of them are different um, these are my go-to Stadler pens that I'm going to be using for my bullet journal I find them easy to use non-bleedable um, and they dry really quickly so if I put like felt tip pen over them they don't smudge it's just brilliant I just I love them okay and also they have like really fine tips as well and then we have got going along lines again still of the, of the bullet tape bullet tape <laughs> the bullet journal we have got some washi tape so these are five of the washi tapes I have currently so these are five of the current washi tapes I own I love the donut one I have got about 20 more of these I literally stocked up a lot I just I find these really kind of cool you can like I use them in the bullet journal to um, like cover up mistakes or to make a little design or you know set the theme for the page the color scheme at least I just find them really pretty I get them in so many different variations I got them in these like the like, really cool patterns like random patterns like and then finally for my favorites I'm going to include a food that I've been loving not only have I been loving a lot of nuts recently I've been also loving these kettle chips these are crispy bacon and maple syrup kettle chips and they use real bacon so if you're a vegetarian I don't believe you can have these because these are including real bacon in them from Norfolk as well bacon from not duck. These are the nicest crisps I've ever ha I've had in a long time. Um, they are so good and I just mm. I could finish a whole bag of these in like one sitting I'm not gonna lie. Um, they are so so good. They're really Moorish as well. I just I just love these so mm. Okay, I think that is everything. Okay, if you, wanna, if you guys want to see more videos, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Hit the bell button if you want to keep notified of my videos. I do upload every Sunday, but that is everything. I will see you guys next week as always. Um, yeah.